Part three. Part three. All right. Let's see. Do 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 do. Damn, y'all niggas got in here quick. Uh, spirit shrink. And you are. Hell yeah, they got no quick. Niggas was waiting, bud. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, niggas was like, woo, 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 woo. All right. All right. So last week mentioned, I mentioned um, they, there are goddesses that are revered that are with multiple partners, right? Mm -hmm. Virgin goddesses, right? Mm -hmm. My only retort is they were all virgin. At one point in time, nigga. <laughs> they were all that's, the virgin, nigga. that's the thing. That's the thing, though. They were virgin, 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 maiden, crone, virgin, maiden, crone. See, the the right. divine whore is only a, one of the names of the divine maiden. Right. Like the way motherfuckers now. Like that shit is something completely different. Look, what you're seeing is in the archetypes of the pantheon. Telling you what you need to be. We can't hear you. Ah, we can't hear you, man. Can't hear you. You can't hear me? No, nah, I think a plane was passing over. So. I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you, bro, but can't hear you. Oh. It's going in and out. You want to say something? Crows, though. You want to try again? All right, maybe it. Shit on my eye. Uh -oh. Yeah, is that Get shit off my eye? Oh, some shit no, on my eye. Can you hear me? Can. Yeah, can you hear me? Can't hear you. Trolls again. He's Don't. making a face at me. <laughs> nah, your video keep going in and out. My video? What is your video? Or maybe it's me. Shit. Yeah. Mine's good. Yeah, yours is doing this whole in and out thing, man. Yeah, well, I can see mine, but that's what, that's what I see yours doing on here. Alright, let's see. At least you can hear me now. I can hear yeah, yeah, a lot better. Now I can see you too. <laughs> I don't know what changed. I ain't do nothing. <laughs> this, this nigga got his whole, uh, this nigga got all this right here. But yeah, all right, no doubt, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. See, this nigga thoughts and shit. So. Hell yeah, nigga. I, I, I'm, I'm the nigga you can use to test your psychic shit. I got all this fucking head. I got a little extra bit of head coming in right here. You see that shit? Oh, damn. Bro, I got double head. But I got double head, bro. No cap, bro. No cap. Is, is that on Just purpose? <laughs> I figure it's a horn or something. I don't know. Like, oh. it just, it just. I ain't trying to be funny. And, I, I, you, I got. I asked you later, man. No, I didn't even hit my head or nothing. It just there it is. When did that happen? I don't know. Well, sometime after I, I started shaving my head, because I know it was. Wasn't there before because when I used to get haircuts when I had hair. Mm -hmm. um, I figured it's just a horn coming in because I'm a piece of shit. Damn. <laughs> head on head. That's <laughs> 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 but no, look, what? No, look, this is the big point I wanted to try and make, bro. Like, I think this is where we're bumping heads, and this is part of my some of my frustration is that like so much of this argument has 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 centered around defending defending women from some from an attack i'm not making it's like it's like i say bro it's like there's no, yes there's no more virgin brides but there's no more manhood rights see someone might listen to me and say oh well he must be so great because he can say something like this it's like no motherfucker didn't you just hear me i said there's no more manhood rights there's no more legacy 
There's no more family. There's no more lineage. There's no more. There's no more building. All we got is sand now. Like there's there's no, no more. Like it used to be. It wasn't just a virgin was given to some man and here he go. This man by the was made by the community into a man. The boy. The boy was made to a man by the community. That's gone. And so I take that into account when I say I expect women to be hoes these days. I expect men not to be made boys not to be made into men. I, I look, look, niggas didn't have to do this from square one by themselves with no help. We got to do that now. So she's not getting the same thing she would have got. Just like I'm not getting the same thing I would have got. So I'm not trying to say some shit where it's like bad against women. I'm trying to say, look, we, we got a whole situation, and the only thing we're doing is looking at the woman's side. Like, let's look at the whole situation. Because we, if we, if we changing, like you're saying, if we changing, then men need to be able to change too. Right? I'm not right. saying women can't change and can't start doing whatever the hell it is they say they want to do now. But you have to be able to change what men, what men are. And if you right. don't, it's something. And if you don't, something's not honest. Okay. But isn't that I would I would say that isn't that what we are becoming? What? Like although, you know, although uh, you know, some might view it as uh, you know we are becoming this degraded state. You know, we're also returning to something or becoming something that we've never been. Oh yeah. You know, most certainly, I'd agree with that. That's what pressure does. Yeah. You know. So that's, that, that's, that's part of the reason I say, you know, guys can't think of marriage the way it's always been. Right. They either have to throw that out or com or completely reshape it from the ground up or maybe. because the, all the terms have changed. Right. Like, and so, and so restructuring that means the whole idea of families, if it's going to survive at all, has to change. Because mm -hmm. you don't build families off pussies. You just make babies. Once again, family is also a choice because now we don't have the concept of bastard children anymore now everybody now that everybody's a bastard no one gets to you don't you don't make the distinction anymore as in hold on give me a second as in all everyone everyone is a bastard mm. everyone is a bastard child mm. Family lineage don't mean nothing. Family don't mean nothing no more. It's not your name carries weight no more. Unless you're some one of these old ass families who's rich as fuck. Mm. See, that's how family's supposed to work. They're supposed to be hundreds of thousands of those. Mm. Hundreds of thousands of those. You got like 10. Fuck out of here. The only thing is, where did this. They haven't gone. If they have existed. They still exist. No, because it's, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's not the DNA part of it. You're right. The DNA part of it. You're right. The part of it where we we engage it and we participate in it. That's where we we're not doing that anymore. Yeah. The part where we take what's in the DNA and and bring it together. We don't do that any, anymore. We just have babies with, with who? whoever and just say well it's all in the dna and what's gonna come back around sometime and just and just discharge the responsibility into the future but responsibility is still a choice that you have to take on yeah it is responsibility can't just be imposed on you because you can still choose to leave that's part of what makes it responsible that's what makes it a, a choice yeah most certainly and so when motherfuckers always leave the option of i can just go Nothing gets built, mm. and so when it's met, when she's never yours, it's just your turn. Nothing's gonna get built on that. The only thing that can do is is for 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 temporary pleasure. That's it. Mm. It's not because something's wrong with her. It's that the way. That's how she moves. That's her. That's Most that's what it is. Who's to say you're not gonna get a long turn though? Why are we acting like your it's turn? Not it's a short trial because it's what, a long turn. What you mean a long turn, bro? You can have a long turn. That makes 
make it even worse. You, you, you your shit get developed and stabilized, and then your turn ends. And then your turn ends. Fuck out of here, dude. That's a bad investment. That's what I'm you saying. Know, That's a bad know. investment. I'll give a good example. It was in the news last week. Uh, it was this married couple. They were married for <laughs> married for seventy years, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, what is it called? And the wife, she basically wrote her husband a letter. She said that you know she had an affair forty years prior. Mm -hmm. Boy, sir. He divorced her at, at 80 years old. She was 79 or something like that. And with that being the case, is that a reason? Is that reasonable? If that, if what the, you mean? That, does is it reasonable that you would have a a marriage, right? You would have a 70 year marriage, 60 year marriage, or something like that, right? And you end it based on. Based on sex, well, I mean, it. I guess it depends on how you how you weigh that out. Because you can look at it like this: let's say you got a uh, you got an account, you got an account at the bank, right? You had that account with the bank for, for forty years, right? You know, and you know, one day they come to you and tell you, you know, you for the last fifteen years we've been using your money for child child sex trafficking. We ain't yeah, doing safety no more though. We yeah, stopped and we ain't never going we stopped and we ain't never gonna do it again. We stopped and we ain't never gonna do it again. You gonna keep banking? See what it is, is the issue is is that she broke their agreement. She broke their contract. Alright? See when the contract is more than just we're, we're 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 near each other. We're and so we're gonna call it together. And and, and now is that's that's all it needs to be. Like that's nothing. Their yeah. contract was more than that. It was more than just the biology. It was an agreement. And she she broke that. Not only did she break that, she lied about it for twenty years. So now she's been, she's been here feeding him a lie for twenty years. So yeah, it's a little. I think it's a little bit reasonable. I mean, it's kind of fucked because you don't like what the fuck is he gonna do? But I mean, you have to stand on something. You have to stand on something. So I mean, I respect I, I respect him for doing it. I respect him for doing it. I'm not gonna say it's the most reasonable, but then again, I don't think her, you know, throwing her legs up was reasonable to begin with either. So I mean, there's that. But the, the issue is, he broke. She broke the contract. And so, you know, you know, this idea that women, you know, they're gonna do this thing where she's never yours. It's just your turn. That's breaking the old contract. The old contract was. The old contract was. You know. Holes are just for sex. Now it's just every, everybody's a hoe. And so, okay, well, if that, that's the case, we have to change things. I'm not telling you women can't do it. I'm not telling you they're less. I'm not telling you something's wrong. There's no reason to defend women. I'm not saying anything bad about it. I'm saying they're they do, doing what they're doing. They're allowed to do it. It's okay. They're brave. They're strong. It's amazing. All that shit, okay? <laughs> but what I'm saying is, if that's the case, Men cannot keep doing the same old shit. The same old, I intrinsically have to protect and provide for every woman around me. Because it used to be, the case was, y'all was all in my community. We was connected. We're not, we're not connected now. It's just everybody's out here. We're all individuals and we're all, you know, it's, it's just everyone's turn. It's not really, you know, and no one owns anybody and nothing's stable. So I don't know where, who, who's going to build anything. Because this is, this is what I think. If we live in this perpetual state where nobody's stable, everybody's just your turn, the only thing that's ever stable is the state. And that's what the state is going to encourage you to do, live perpetually in instability so that the only thing that's stable is the state. No God, no God, no, that's too stable. The state is God. The state will, will sanction your, your marriages, your businesses, your everything you do. The state will determine that. And you just go whoever's turn and because it's it's always the state's turn, ain't it? Fuck you mean. See my bro, this is what I'm saying. Colonization. Colonize. Niggas is colonized, bro. Niggas have forgotten the, the, the graves of their forefathers. Niggas are colonized. Trying to make this ridiculous shit work in white supremacy. 
it's it, hey, the the rules are different, bro. So is a hoe eligible for love? Sure, everyone's eligible for love. Marriage is business. But but then again, that's the old kind of marriage. So now, if niggas are still doing it, it's got to be something different. Yeah, okay. Okay. I can smoke a bag of that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck with this nigga, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I can smoke a bag of that. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I don't like the metaphysical shit, bro. The metaf- him, him trying to make the metaphysical claim, like that shit. That shit kills me. Cause like, bro, there's there are deities for everything. Yeah. Like there are deities for everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh my god. But with that being said, mm. it was also an introduction to let folks know not to leave it out. If yeah. That's, also- that's why. Yeah. That's why he was saying it. You know, like right. like to expand your mind past the 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 the, the closed thing that they had. Mm-hmm. And then. To be a hundred, like all, your perception of, of a of a whole might be forty bodies and such, right? Right, but the people that he was talking to, they might consider the whole someone who just one or two niggas. You know what I'm saying? Or he, he goes, I, I, I've evolved beyond body count, bro. I've evolved. This conversation has allowed me to evolve beyond the idea of body count. You helped me. Thank you so much. It's not body count. It's the mentality. If, if if she's one of those women where she's never yours, it's just your turn. She's a hoe, and you can't make that into a housewife. But also, no, I won't deny. I won't deny. You can you can come out here with the ass on your chest, and you can save them. You can make you can you can de hoe a hoe. You can get her to stop hoeing. Hmm. Uh, but. That's not easy. I'm not. I'm not going to suggest that niggas go out there and, and and sacrifice themselves to do it. You can do it. You most certainly can. And I, there's a method to the madness. I will not. I will not deny that it's possible. But that's not a good business investment. If you if you define a marriage as, as a business and something you're going to expand and grow and, and as a legacy, it's a it's a terrible business investment. If if she's never yours and it's only your turn, it's a terrible business investment. If you if not, if it's just love and connection and intimacy, man, y'all can call that whatever you want to. You, you can call it. We're getting serious. You know, we're talking, or you know, whatever y'all want to call it. You can say marriage. You can take. You can take everything marriage used to mean, rip it out, and just put the marriage on there. If you want. You know, it don't even matter at this point because, you know, it's what like what what are we what are we building besides another way to make sure we continue to adhere to the same colonized shit. Fuck out of here, man. See, that's the thing. The motherfuckers who, because it's it's not, not like black men haven't consistently built different things to try and have their own communities and civilizations in the midst of fucking white supremacy. And of course they fail. But, but I mean, bro, you cannot build families on I mean, home. Thing, but it's, you cannot. If, if it's never, if she's never yours, and it's only your turn. There's no way you can build a community on that, unless of course she's not part of it, and that's not that's not feasible. It's not pretty, yet it hasn't failed. What you mean? What do? What does that mean? What does that mean? Failure would mean our reputation. No, no, no. Failure would not mean our death, because now we can be efficiently farmed. Our, Our culture, our culture still evolves. Every generation. It's a slave culture. Culture doesn't. Culture never stops. We always gonna have a culture. What we got right now is a slave culture, dude. Just just because we're not extinct doesn't mean we didn't fail. Because right now we're being farmed. So of course we're not extinct. We're being farmed. Mm. See the, the the measure of our the measure of our success is not whether we exist. We have nothing to do with that. Mm. The measure of our success is what we build, and we have nothing at this point because not, because it's always just somebody's turn, and nobody belongs to anything. You can't own anything. Nothing's really anything, and we're all just out here by ourselves, individuals floating around. 
But if it's a we, there is no individual. What? You, you said, said there's a we, there's no individual? No individual. No, there has to be, because what is the we composed of? It's composed of, of individuals. individuals. Exactly. But, See, but this we, is the thing. People are people are people are shunning the we. we take, people are shunning the we. We take small, small examples of people and their selfishness and we and we loop it in and group it as, well, see, look at what we're doing. See, we messing up. We doing all this other stuff, but that's not true for the majority. And because you know more, sorry, you know more solid people than you know fucked up people. I don't, I don't think you get what I'm saying. Because it, it, it's, it's, it's definitely true for the majority. We've rejected, in mass, we've rejected our old cultures and religions as a practice and fake and not but that's real. Not true. Because look, if you have it then we have it if you have it, that then we have not rejected bro i'm talking in general i'm talking in general like, turning back but that's but but this is the thing you're saying in general but we don't know them we don't know the masses of people not only that the names of these cultures of the of the gods and all this other shit might have changed and the practices might have changed but the practices are still there the culture is still there the gods are still there in small, small minute pockets, bro. Huh? In small minute pockets. In all, in all pockets, even in the even in the shit niggas make fun of with the, even like Christianity. Within that, it's it still it my, still has a traditional base of niggas following what what their ancestors were following. It's just but my point, my point is that it's small. But it does, I'm not saying it, it doesn't exist zero percent. That's not the claim I'm making. My claim is that. In mass, in general, the old cultures and religions have been rejected as not being real, as being superfluous, as being in addition to something, some type of fantasy or superstition. The old, old ways of living. I, I don't agree, man. So you saying people? So you saying people today are living the way they live pre pre colonialism? I'm saying we're doing the same exact shit that we were doing, and just has a different name and a different face to it. Like niggas have expand always on that for me. Expand on that for me. I, I give a, I, I give a solid example. Niggas have always had an interest in sports, right? Niggas have, have always had an interest in martial arts, right? Sports is still there. Martial arts is still there, right? Uh, when it even like um like even the the ancient ways of niggas playing basketball, we're doing that now. Hockey doing that shit now. Boxing doing that shit now, right? Um, the, even families, right? The way that the way that families are raised, doing that shit now. The, I mean, fuck it. The the the, the recipes that were handed down, they are recipes that originated before slavery, right? Yet what what has happened is the shit that we do naturally, the shit that we do instinctually, makes it seem like that the, a title has been put on that shit, making it seem like oh well. Hold on. Satellites been putting on that shit, making it seem like, oh, sorry, give me a second. The title on that shit has been make, made it seem like, oh, now nah, we did that shit during slavery. That has nothing to do with our original shit, but we've been doing that original shit. I mean, even if we're even like when it comes to sports, there's an intelligence in sports that we still have. We still are, like, even with the, with the sports, we're doing our angles. We're you know what I'm and the fact that even like with the gods, the names have been changed, but the concepts are still there. The interpretation is different, but the rituals are the same. The same fucking candles are being burnt. The, the same incense are being burnt. The 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 same way that people prostrate. The 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 the, the, the same hymns and the same. Uh, vocal patterns that are given is still there. It just has a different face on it. Niggas no longer see themselves within the God. That's the point. Hey. Can you hear me? Yeah, I said it's got a colonized face on it. That's the point. Ah. That's the point. Thing is, caricatures of what we used to be. Yeah, but it's been preserved. It hasn't. 
That's what I'm saying. It hasn't. That's why niggas gotta go out here and rediscover it. That's why niggas out here searching and trying to figure it out, creating little Afrocentric groups. Cause it hasn't been preserved. It hasn't. It has These are not been preserved in the way we do families. It has not been preserved in the way we 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 we, we do uh, businesses. Uh, we, we, the way we do religion. The way we c connect ourselves to reality. Mm. Bro, all that shit is different. Yes, there's some there's some uh, vestiges of it. But once again, bro, you talking DNA stuff again? And I'm not gonna deny that the DNA has stuff there. But the DNA, like, that's part of the basic. That's part of the, the fundamentals. It's what we have on top of it. It's what we've built as a result of it. That's what mm. counts. That's what makes the difference. Because with just the DNA, we can live in the jungle. But we don't live in the jungles. But we build about, cities. We build or, civilizations. Is it about the surface or the root of what's taking place? Because what the surface mean? is supposed to be revamped. But it's what's at the root of it. Just the same way you're talking about these. Bro, you're, you're trying to split it. You know, you're trying to split it. No, no, no. You're trying to split it. You cut if you cut the roots off of a planet, no, die. If you cut the planet, bro, chill out. You're trying yeah. to split it. It don't when split. Line them up side by side. They are parallel with one another. No, nah, they're not. It has not parallel. Not, they're interconnected. They're not, not parallel. They're not parallel. Like what it used to, because we are becoming something that we have never been. Yeah, we are becoming something we have never been. And which also means that we're not still doing the same things we used to do. It'll you can't have both, bruh. You can't have both. Either we either we're becoming something new or we the same thing we used to be. We you can't have both. Like the, you can't have both arguments. It's, it's not an argument because we are what our root is. Yet we're still we're becoming something new. So everything Everything is changing and everything nothing changes, right? Everything's changing and nothing's changing, right? Great contradiction of life, nigga. But but listen, what I'm saying. At that level of analysis, you're not saying nothing, bro. Because if you if you apply that logic to anything else, the, you're gonna get the same result, and then you don't investigate. You don't ask any other questions. You just say, well, everything's changing and nothing's changing. Hey, hey, you know, we got a bunch of people getting raped over here. Well, everything's changing and nothing's changing. Hey, our kids are starving. Everything's changing and nothing's changing. Like, bro, that's not an answer. It's not an answer. Like, I get it. I'm not going to deny that it's a, there's a truth to it. But that's not an answer to the conversation we're having. But that, that in itself is the contradiction. He said, <laughs> he said, it's the truth. But it's not the answer. Truth to it. That's because it, it, it rings true. It vibrates on a different... That's a different <laughs> level of analysis of the conversation we're having. Because okay. look, on the level of analysis where everything changes and nothing changes, there's nothing to talk, talk about. Mm. Ever. Because if that's the answer to everything, then there's never anything to talk about. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's not an answer because it, it leads to nothing. It's not that it's not true. It's just that it deads the conversation. It leads to nothing. Hmm. Like, bro, we we used to be a certain way. We haven't been that way. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying as an analysis, that's what it is. Yes, we're becoming something we've never been before. I agree with that as well. I'm not I'm, I'm, I'm not denying that. What I'm saying is we cannot, if, if we're going to become something we've never been before, we cannot try and be what we've been. We cannot try and be, be what we've been. Right. That is that's my, thing. my solution. Oh, excuse me. But what I've been speaking about is just adapting. Right? Which you mentioned was, you know, we we've uh the we've the, we've uh, gotten to this degraded point and we're not what we used to be. Like, but the best way to, to, to combat that is to do the stuff that we used to do. No. No, no, that is not the best way to combat it because we're not going to do the stuff we used to look at what I'm saying. If, if remember, if, if, if it's never, she's never yours and it's always just your turn, that then you're not coming back from that. There, you, there's no peddling that back. There's no saying, okay, hey, bitches, now y'all can't do it no more. That's not even, the, the, the box has been open. That's gone. Right. We're ne never going to be what we used to be. Mm. But see, this is the thing. You have to know what the fuck we used to be. 
And if all you boil it down to is people came together and had babies, you missed a lot of what we were for hundreds of thousands of years. Yes, but it, people it had babies. Yes, they survived. But we we built civilizations on order, on on structure, on 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 reason. They weren't just saying we're gonna we're gonna make sure you're a virgin before you're married because we hate women. Like what the fuck? That's so dumb. For hundreds of thousands of years, people had mothers. That's dumb. Nobody did that. See, nobody nobody thought women were oppressed as a class until white women didn't like the fact that black women, that black men were gonna get a vote and they weren't gonna have it. Mm -hmm. Affirmative action. That that's the first time a white white women were ever considered a minority group. Right. When, when when affirmative action came around, because you know what that did for all the black niggas who died for the shit, white women got the jobs. Very true. White women got the infrastructure, and then that led to uh, still not giving black men jobs. But now, okay, now that we uh, got enough jobs for white women, we can get some of these to black women too. Hmm. Bruh, it's colonization. Niggas think oh, this is the way the world works. Bro, fuck that shit. Niggas is lost. Look, look, I mean, it's not going back. It's that, that's the bigger thing. That's what we're talking about. It's not going back. There's no peddling that back. Right. So, I don't think the question is, you know, like, everyone knows you don't make a hoe into a housewife. Nobody, like, the, whether or not they're eligible for, for love, that's another question. I mean, like, I don't think anybody's not eligible for love. There's somebody out there for everybody, but most people don't, most people don't, most people think what they're going to get is conditional love, and love is, the best love is conditional. The best love is not unconditional. Unconditional love is 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 pathetic. It's like if if a motherfucker came up to you tomorrow, a girl, right, and she's and she's like, I'm gonna do anything for you, always, forever, right. And there's nothing that you could do to get me to stop that. Like at, at a at a certain point, that shit becomes pathetic. Mm. It's like it, it's love, love that has conditions, love that has some type of integrity to it, love that has a reason why it loves you, mm. you know. That that shit is different. So I mean, we have all kind of conversations about love. So that's not business, though. That's not business. I'm not saying it's not, not true and it's not it's not valid and it doesn't have a place in life. It most certainly does, but that's not business. Mm. Well, we don't do business. Well, we well, I don't know what we, I don't know what niggas are gonna do. To be honest, mm. like you said, we become something we never been before. So hey, well, I'm not saying I'm not saying hoes shouldn't be hoes. I'm not saying we shouldn't have hoes. I'm not saying don't do what you want to do with a hoe. You can, you can, everybody, everybody, you can put your shields down. He's not attacking women. You can put your shields down. Not at all. Fuck. Oh, and and just so to make clear, it's, there's no attack. It's just different perspectives. You know, it's different perspectives. But this is why I say this is why I say that though. Um, and it's not to insult you in any way, um, to be clear. But this is why I say that. It's because of the the the, the natural tendency we have to defend defend women. Like and it's because like all I'm doing is suggesting the idea that there may be unflattering things about women. And it gets defended, you know. But when, when we suggest the same things about men, you know, it, it doesn't go the same way. And and I'm not asking for it too. But what I'm saying is, if we're gonna have this thing where I gotta go through more, I gotta have these more standards. Well, I need to get something for it. You're not gonna say we equal, we the same, and I have to do these other things. That's not equal. That's not the same. So, you know, the man is the man. Like I run shit. I'm in charge. If we can't, if we can't concede that, and I still gotta do extra shit. What are we doing? And like this is this is this is animal shit, bro. This is nature shit. And see, we can't even get this kind of stuff straight. Like, motherfuckers is confused about basic stuff. So, yeah, fuck whoever they want to. I don't care. I, that's not my concern. Mm. Yeah, People been shit. commenting stuff, man. I ain't, been, I ain't even checking the comments, bro. I just been chopping in with you. Good, no doubt. Yeah, but, uh, what do you say? That if we create blues, rock, hip-hop, dominate sports, but don't own the influence... Society to stop police brutality. We don't have shit in all for our, all our work. Well, you can't build an empire in the masses' house, bro. It's like impossible. Niggas don't get that. Niggas want to be included and, and niggas want to be shown on masses TV. Oh wow, well, I get to see myself on masses TV more. That's representation. Let's stop. Let's fuck out of here, niggas. Like, but 
black people have been completely confused on what it is they're looking for. Like it used to be, he was doing nationalism, and then they hit they hit niggas with civil rights. You know, niggas, niggas, niggas are so they're so invested in being integrated into white supremacy, which is futile. It's so ridiculous, bro. That's so ridiculous. But I mean, like I said, we become something we never been before. You know, just like you said too. So I don't know where it's gonna go. What is that? Right, right now, niggas can't do what we used to do. Mm. <clears throat> Very true. Very you true. can depend on this thing and then think marriage is just gonna be we love each other and things are gonna work out. You can't sit here and think I'm gonna build an empire here forever. You know. <clears throat> Or if, it, or if that's gonna be the case, bro, you gotta you gotta finagle it. You, it's not a given. It's not a given no more. It's not a given that this is gonna be something we build. Hmm. You see, women control sex. Men control marriage. You know, men control who who whose child is a bastard and whose is part of the legacy. You know. Hmm. So, You got you got motherfuckers out here who ain't have no business being fathers or fathers now because somebody wanted to give them some pussy. Mm -hmm. like we quick, quick to hold men to this whole this huge this huge ethic of responsibility, even from a young age. Even if he's a, a 15 year old boy, you know, his dick full of cum, ready to ready to get some pussy. You know, no, he has to be the responsible one who knows more than her, even if she's coming on to him. He gotta know more. He gotta know better than to do this or to do that. He's a child too. But we hold him to the responsibility of a grown, informed man. Even though there's no infrastructure to inform him. Wait, stop. Stop. Soon as the nut leaves your dick, you have no options. The girl's got plenty of options. Nine months of options. And then plenty of shit to do afterwards with no shame. A fun night turns into a a, a, a a eighteen year agreement that you weren't ready for. Yeah. We know we didn't have that shit back in the day, but now we have to contend with it. So we we become in something we've never been before, and we can't just say men should or women should, because who the fuck knows at this point? There's no culture or religion to guide us, tell us what to do. All you really got is the state and your own imagination. Mm. So I don't know what niggas is gonna do. Yeah. You got to stay in your own imagination. Hmm. Hmm. So it used to be the way family was set up. You didn't have the option of just leaving, just going away and decide not to work with it. You had to deal with it. Done that for hundreds of thousands of years had to deal with it and dealt with it but now motherfuckers never have to deal with shit so they don't and now they, they develop no capacity to, to navigate controversy and so they don't mm. motherfuckers that think their dad was a deadbeat turns out maybe the mom pushed him out maybe he didn't have room to be a father in the house mm. See, we wouldn't have had those problems before because you had to work this shit out. Now motherfuckers can just leave. Now motherfuckers can call white supremacy into your home. <laughs> Fuck you mean? We've become something we've never been before. But motherfuckers don't want to look at what we are. They want to think about what we should be. Nah, let's, let's look at what we are. Let's look at what we at. Let's look at what we're doing. If you really want to get somewhere and move to something, you got to look at where you're at. Cause you can't tell me you where you gonna go if you don't know where you at. That's what we should be doing. What we doing right now? Hmm. 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 Well, what are you reading? Uh, eight twenty six. Hmm. Well, they will give you the sauce for today. And they will tell you, don't even. Uh. All right, shit. Any questions? <laughs> <laughs>
No, man. Niggas can't do the same things, man. The world ain't the same no more. And stop listening to what people say shit should be. Mm. All that shit's gone. Mm. Never yours. It's just your turn. That's everything in life. Nah, that ain't everything in life. The shit you agree not to do that with is not. Hey. The shit that's you true. agree not to do that with is not. Bruh. And that's that's real. Like, bruh, left to its own devices, chaos, yeah, okay. But when you put order to some shit, no, that's not the case. Hey, bro. Yeah, you have your clothes now. But if you die, somebody else going to be wearing your clothes. Somebody going to thrift your clothes and be wearing it. Whatever money you don't spend now, somebody else will spend when you're gone. Okay, so does that apply to your marriage? It applies to that apply to your family? It's that you can... There's a the thing. You can't force anything that isn't meant to stay. So so basically, we just kind of float and let whatever's supposed to happen, happen. No, that's your that's your choice. That's your You have the free will mm-hmm. to do that. Oh. Okay, so you're like, it goes back to choice, like you were saying. Choice is what makes the difference. Right, you got between okay, just being whatever happens, and this is what I'm choosing. Being okay with the outcome, if it doesn't work out that way, and still continuing. Wait, what do you mean? Even if you got, if even if you got to start elsewhere or start with someone new. Wait, what? Just a good example, right? You have, uh, Wait, like Patrice O'Neal. You know, what you're, what you're just saying is being okay with the fact that your marriage didn't work is what you're saying. Well, doing your best to make your marriage work. And then being okay that it doesn't. Allowing for that to be the, fu- the finality of it. Right? I mean, I'm not going to say it has to end your life, but I don't think you should be okay with it. Well, look. Your business I, fails, yeah, start another one, but I don't think it should be okay with the fact that the first one failed. Well, you have to be learning from the fact that the first one failed, or the first couple failed. And I don't first. think you should set up your business for it to fail. You're not setting it up to fail. Okay, so I mean, so if you're not setting it up to fail and then it fails, don't feel good about that. It's still a possibility, of course, right? Of course, What's everything's a possibility, though. Hey, look, like, um... Even, even like with Patrice O'Neill, right? One thing he always mentioned was, you know, you have your relationships and you want to teach your girl the things in, in certain relationships as if you were preparing her for another relationship. As if you were doing her, as if you were doing the next person a solid. Mm-hmm. Right? And I'll explain. Mm-hmm. Even, though, even though he's explaining, you know, we've, we've heard this. Right, so it's where it's like. For example, He's not saying that about your wife. He's saying it about bitches you fuck. Hold on, hold on. It was, but it wasn't just about a bitch you fuck. We're fucking. It, it wasn't was, about a wife. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's, that's not true. That's not true. He wasn't was, saying that about a wife. True. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. All right, because what he mentioned in it was, like, if the, if if you notice that your girl was going through life, right, without learning certain basics if you if you knew that your girl was going through life and just didn't know stuff there was no there was nobody around to really teach her nobody to really put her on nobody to really show her certain ways or, or to remind her like hey what you're doing the reason why you're, you're you're not having success in that is because maybe you need to do, you need to do it this way right because there's so many so many people so many women that go on and they leave relationships doing the same thing that they did in the last relationship because the previous dude didn't say nothing, didn't do anything, didn't make it, didn't make it serious, right? Or as if it was just sex, treated it as if it was just meaningless and as if it was nothing, right? Made it seem as if everyone that you deal with, you want to, you want to make sure that you are building them and making them the best that they can be just as they do with you but if it's just ah they're, they're nothing toss them to the side you that is it's, it's like that each one teach one philosophy right you may not be able to get everybody but if you do your part then it can grow right but if if everything is just about well you know this is the only one that was going to work and it has to work and so on and so forth but it might not work 
things might change. Other factors might come into place, right? But you don't want you want her to still be solid when it comes to somebody else, just like she should want you to be solid when it comes to someone else as well. It may, it, you all may not have been the right thing for one another, and it may not, not have worked out, but it might work out better for the next person. Yeah, all that's in the context of this idea of relationships where divorce is an option. If that's the case, you all these places where you know it can it cannot work out. So that that shit that shit that's a, that's new shit, bro. It cannot work out. No, the, the marriage is a contact through thick and thin, uh, good uh, through sickness and health. It's not oh, you know, it just didn't work out. Yeah, but that's a Fuck that. No, you're supposed to stick it. Still yeah, somebody can die. Yeah, anything can happen. But in in the face of the fact that anything can happen, what you do is you stand you stand fast to your agreement. The motherfucker just want to be able to bounce out of whatever they agree to and do whatever they want whenever they want to and look i'm not gonna tell you you can't do that but you can't build nothing off of that you can't build nothing off of that but many have have been built no they like, haven't they survived niggas have been surviving niggas haven't been building bro niggas have been surviving if you been there, ha there, ha there have been relationships, previous relationships that you've learned from. And if you're in a solid relationship right now, it, a lot of it has to do with what you did the previous here's a, ones. So here's a good example. Here's a good example. If I see somebody out on the side of the road, right, and their car broke down, maybe they they uh, they tire flat. I don't mind helping them fix their tire. Maybe they, their car rolled off the side, they help them push their car back on the street. You know, I don't mind helping them do that. Right. I'm not buying them a new starter. I'm not buying them a new transmission. I'll, I'll do that for my car, but I won't do that for, for somebody else's car. If a bitch need a new transmission, I don't know what to tell her. Maybe she need a tire fix, okay. But if this, if this is a motherfucker who I've been putting, I put a new transmission in this bitch. I changed the radiator. I'm the one been taking care of the oil. And then right. now it end up being somebody else's car? Fuck you talking about? Fuck you talking about? Yeah, I can get another car. Yeah, I can reinvest the shit. But fuck you talking about? That was my shit. That was my, my shit. And so, so look, yeah. what you basically arguing is that with niggas never get attached to a car. Okay, fuck it then. Well, I'm gonna have to start working my life where cars ain't shit, and so I'll never get attached to it. But no, you, because, because look. Because look. Anything I, I, I can give her, I'm gonna give her something that I can't give. I can I can only give her so much because I'm trying to build something. Now, if she want to be part of that, she can be here, but she got to stick around. It ain't no. I'm gonna just leave whenever I decide it ain't working. Like fuck that shit. Like what kind of like who who does that? Who puts that in their business? Who puts that in something they're trying to build? Some shit that's yeah. in, at any moment just gonna say I'm gone. It still happens. You can have the best in the world, brother. You can't stop an ebb and flow. Bro, you, you can't, can't keep taking every flow. argument back to everything happens. Like, of course, anything can happen, bro. We're not talking about on the level of analysis where anything can happen. Because on that level, don't there's no, the, no scenario matters at that level. No scenario matters. We're talking about we're at a level where scenarios matter. It's not just... That you can't control anything, and there'll always be something that happens. Like people, people live their lives like not no, there's nothing I can do ever. Then you never do anything. But we don't live like that. We live like there's something you can do because there is. It's not because it's going to ultimately solve everything a hundred percent. But it's because there's something you can do as opposed to nothing. Yes, the chaos is is unrelenting. I will not deny that chaos is unrelenting, and you cannot stop it. But that doesn't mean that there's nothing you can do in the face of it. And what we've done in the face of it is set order, is build things, the structures, societies, rules, contracts. All those things are stable. See, even if a nigga wants to get out of a contract, there have to be stipulations for that shit. Because that contract is going to set up the foundation for three other contracts and those contracts are going to set up the foundation for three others so if the one back here decides well i don't want to be a contract no more you're fucking up everything don't nobody want to deal with don't nobody want to do business with a motherfucker like that so it's okay for motherfuckers to be like that be however you want but if that's how you 
are, you're not eligible for part of the business agreement. Because that shit got to be solid. And you can't have a wishy-washy shit. See that wishy-washy shit? That's for, that's for you, you know, on the weekends, you go fuck a hoe. That's wishy-washy. You see, you don't pay her for the sex. You pay her for no strings. You don't pay her for the sex. Because niggas can talk their way into pussy. You can get pussy for free. But that shit comes with strings. You're paying for no strings. You're not paying for pussy. You're paying for no strings. You're paying for after this, I'm not going to have to talk to you. When you're, I'm not, you're not going to show up somewhere. You know, there's not going to be something. This is just sex and I'm done. That's what you're paying for. But, but when, even still, to this day, you got brothers that do pay for that. And what happens? Car, that contract still gets broken. And those women still say, pop up. And those women still say, well, we, me and such and such was doing this. Even though it wasn't in the agreed. It wasn't in the agreed contract with that money exchange. Them the bitches make less than a couple thousand a pop. <laughs> <laughs> the bitches that make a couple thousand a pop don't say shit. Sir! Sir! We got folks like Super... Superhead wrote a book. Superhead don't make a couple thousand a pop. That's why she wrote a book, because she ain't making that kind of money. She, she wrote whole books. Whole uh, uh. books. Revealing niggas that she was getting quote unquote bank and whatnot. <sighs> well, she, wasn't, she, she, she was just being a she was just being a hoe. Like, well, look, that's not even hoeing. Cause ain't no that's not even hoeing because you ain't getting rich off of that. That's just being a slut. See now we now we get now we now we draw lines. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. That's just being a slut. Like chill out, bro. That's just another Zane book. Come on now. Bro, that shit is not. There's, there's no skill involved. That's so. And, and look, but here's the thing: there's nothing wrong with expecting the best, yet also preparing for the worst. Okay, that's cool. I'm not denying doing that. But right. but 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 taking the argument that 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 expecting this to work out is 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 expecting too much because anything can fall apart. No. Like no, like we build things we we make an agreement on the expectation we're going to be able to fulfill this right that's the point right we don't make our agreements on the expectation well you know maybe one day we'll just you know we'll just grow apart like no through sick and through sickness and through and health through thick and thin that's what that shit's supposed to be mm. it's not i feel so i feel different i feel a little different today my hormones are here it's time for a divorce fuck that mm. Like get the fuck out of here! I like that. And see, and see, look, and see, look, we'll be okay with that. But when a motherfucker's like, "Well, I've been married for thirty years. Uh, I guess I'm gonna get a sports jacket and a motorcycle and try to talk to young girls." Well, now he's wrong. Stella can get a fucking groove back, but I can't have a midlife crisis. <laughs> you see what? But like, this, like this is this is part of why my my issue is like we'll we'll come quick to save women when no one's attacking them, but men can't get shit. Like fuck that. that. Because see, look. What, what motherfuckers call a midlife crisis, that's when a male is just hitting his peak. We peak late. Women peak early and quick. Men peak late and for longer. Learning so what women value. call a midlife crisis is him just peaking and realizing, damn, I'm just hitting my peak. And I've already done, done all this. I've already tied my shelf, myself up all these different ways. Mm. That's what that is. Mm. Fuck out of here. Mm. I like that. Bro, this shit is so feminized, bro. Look, I, I we can't be like, like we used to be, man. Men, men, we can't be like we used to be. This thing where, where we're this inherent protector and provider for all the women around, and we're we always got their back. That's how, how we, that's how we we've been. That's how we've been, bro. Well, we can't be that no more because the game has changed. The game is so different if that, because not, the game is so different now, bro. But so you don't think that there's a reason why that's instinctual in us, though? Yeah, I'm sure, I know there's a reason why. I know there is. But what I'm saying is those instincts are not going to be able to guide us in the present atmosphere. Like high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup responds to our innate desire for sugar. Because sugar is something that's valuable. It's rare in nature. You got to go work for that shit. Uh, you know, you can put a little sugar in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the deer come out so you can shoot them. Because it's rare to get that shit. But... Just because our body wants the sugar in the presence of high fructose corn syrup doesn't mean that's right. I know it's instinctual, and this is the same thing. We have something instinctual popping up saying, hey, this is what we should do. 
But based on the present atmosphere, that is not the case. I get what you're saying. I, I do not disagree that there's an instinctual there thing there, and it's there for a reason. I agree. It's there for a reason. You know, but in the present atmosphere, it, 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 it's, it's going to work against you. It's going to work what, against you. So what you're saying is, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, right? Mm -hmm. If men uphold certain standards, right, mm -hmm. of one as partners, then it would, would create more of a demand for their partners to become that? No. No, no, not at all. Not at all. So, There's. Go ahead. No, so, 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 all right, so, so help me out. It's, it's, it's not that men shouldn't have standards or certain standards. It's that the old order standards that we've had for so long okay. are no longer applicable. Mm. We feel that we naturally feel inclined to do them. And, and in most cases, We'll be shamed if we don't, but fuck it, because those things are not, they're not applicable anymore. Mm. Just like the idea that, you know, you should save yourself for a man, and you should develop a, a life with him, and, you know, y'all build together forever th sickness and th through sickness and health and all that shit, all that shit's gone, you know? It is what it is. I'm not saying what it should be, it's saying what it is. And so based on that, the old standards of, of how we should be that we feel instinctually inclined to do. They're not applicable anymore. They they will in fact work to your detriment. I'll I'll say I'll add this to it: the richest women in the world are rich from divorce and inheritance, not from building something from the ground up. Not from building something from the ground up. I'm I'm sorry. One more time. Say it again, brother. The rich. Just women in the world are rich from divorce and inheritance, hmm. not from building something from the ground up. That's what men do. That's when hmm. men become valuable. Once he's built something, now he looks attractive. That's why a man in uniform looks good, because he's about something. Hmm. No matter what uniform you put on him, it's just like, ooh, look, he's in uniform. He got a job. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not that that's bad it's natural we like different things in each other mm. like it's not your job to get me sweetie it's the titties you know like that's, that's that's the biology so it's not bad it is what it is but shit is different it's not like it used to be and we can't we can't keep playing the old game thinking we're doing something honorable by, by upholding some obsolete shit that's that's not beneficial to us no more as i as i mentioned before it's it's really tough to say that if we have it like if we don't have first eyewitness account of what was what you mean if we don't have an, a, a, a real accurate account of what was man oh uh, we we have what was we have, on, these man. motherfuckers still can't figure out how we did what was what you mean so how can we say that this also isn't a part of it that this wasn't going on in all cultures, just the same way. Come on, wait. The same way. The same. You saying? You saying single parent households, no lineage. You saying how do we know that wasn't what was the case before? That's not what I mentioned. I did well, because also, you know, we were talking about in a way when it came to, and when it came to 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 what's called the whole in marriage, right? We mm -hmm. said that if it's like what disqualifies them from that oh, so we're you, talking about the you ask it, how do we know niggas what marrying hoes? Is that really what you asking? Yeah. Because of the instinctual thing in us to not want a hoe. Maybe the fucker, but, but not to, to invest our future in it. Every hoes. No, because it's a bad business investment. What is a hoe, dude? Because she's never yours. It's just your turn. It's a bad business investment. But I'm not saying hoes are bad people. And I'm not saying hoes don't deserve love. I'm saying they're bad business investment. I don't know. Men have to build shit from the ground up if they want it. They cannot marry into wealth. 
Any man who marries into wealth is looked down on. I'm saying this. He has to build they, his wealth from the they, ground they, up. You cannot build your wealth on sand. Sand.